Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip is the end of our series on MORs and preparing for your MORs. So let's do a brief summary. We talked about scheduling. You know that we will schedule the MOR with you, the CAC will, and usually you have at least 30 days. We talked about the desk review package. Some of you send the desk review package in and the lease can be reviewed, the tenant selection plan, your house rules. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to send a desk review package, but it does save time for the reviewer. He or she won't have to sit there on your property and read all of the documents. We talked about the on-site review. Make sure that you have the graffiti gone, make sure that your disposal, trash disposal area is clean. Make sure you have a great curb appeal to your property. We talked about your units and inspect your units before the review. We talked about the react and how the reviewer has to look at some of the REACT items on the review. We talked about the files and keeping your files, what goes into a file. We talked about making a good score. We also reviewed the 9834 questionnaire that the reviewer will look at. We talked about the most common findings and the most common finding is when you have an EIV policy and you don't don't follow the policy. That's the biggest of the common findings. There were three things that I wanted you to remember, and that was the house rules, the incidental business, and to make sure that you have all of your EIV reports pulled. Then there's the appeal. You have the right to appeal the score. You can only appeal a below average and an unsatisfactory. Those are the only two that you can appeal. If you don't like the answer or the decision that you get from the appeal, from the contract administrator, you have the right to appeal to HUD. And that's the end. The book stops there.